it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipes video. Today's video is going to feature five weeknight dinner ideas. So it's going to be a week worth of weeknight dinner recipes and these are going to be all super easy, very budget friendly and also very time friendly. Is that time efficient? Yes. These are all meals you can make in 15 minutes or less. Hopefully these are helpful for you guys. All of the recipes will be in a blog post, which I will link down below as always. Before we jump in, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Mizen. Misen is a cookware company and they are all about inspiring great cooking through high quality and long lasting tools at fair and affordable prices. So their signature product is the chef's knife, which is shown here, and it's made from premium materials like high grade stainless steel, which helps them stay sharper longer and also last a lifetime. You can actually use this knife for all your cutting tasks. In fact, it's actually meant to replace an entire set of knives, which is super awesome. And as you can see here, I'm just cutting up some carrots and I just love how sharp it is. It just makes chopping fun and easy. And even for someone like me that doesn't have much knife skills it's very very easy to use and the best part is that you get the quality at an affordable price my friends misan is two to three times less expensive than other premium brands yet their chef's knife has over 5,000 five star reviews so you are definitely getting a really great product at a really really great price so if you guys want to grab one of these beautiful knives, you can actually get 20% off your first order by going to mizen.com slash cheap lazy vegan. The link is down below and you can get 20% off your first order. So thank you so much to Mizen for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out. Link is down below. Now let's get on with recipe number one. So the first dish I'm going to be making is a Japanese inspired dish. This is yaki udon and I'm not Japanese so forgive me if this isn't super authentic but here we go. First thing we're going to need is a small onion. I'm just chopping up half a small onion. And then I'm going to be cutting a carrot that I've already peeled and I'm going to cut this carrot julienne style, my friends. This is one of my favorite ways to cut carrots and cucumbers now. It's so much fun and um, it's so much fun. <laughs> How lame am I? Oh my gosh. Anyways, it really is fun though and um, it's a great way to practice your knife skills. Just make sure your knife is sharp, okay? Dull knives are dangerous, my friends. So what I do is I cut the carrot horizontally at an angle and then I take those pieces and then I cut them into thin long strips. My mama showed me how to do this, okay? And it takes some practice, but um, if I can do it, trust me guys, you can do it. Once we've chopped up the carrot, I'm going to also chop up some cabbage. I ended up chopping up about two cups of cabbage. And then we can start cooking. So we can add a little bit of oil onto a pan on medium high heat. And then let's start by adding our onion. Let's cook up the onion for about a minute or so. And then I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. So I would say I added about half a tablespoon of minced garlic. Maybe it's about two to three cloves. Use however much you want, my friends. Garlic is limitless. Actually, that's not true. You might get a stomach ache, so be careful. Okay, don't eat too, too much garlic, okay? So after sauteing that for another minute or so, we are going to add in the carrots or the carrot. Would you say carrot or carrots in this scenario? I don't, anyway, that's irrelevant. This is not an English language lesson. Anyways, we are going to cook that up for a little bit as well. Maybe about another minute, okay. And to help me cook the car carrots, <laughs> I'm just adding a little splash of water and then I'm just gonna cover it up for like a minute just to allow the carrot oh my god you guys why English why is this hard allow the carrot pieces there you go to cook and then let's add in the cabbage okay we are layering the vegetables my friends now if you're lazy you can probably just throw it all in okay but the carrots take longer to cook and then you don't want the cabbage to be too soggy so that's why I'm adding the cabbage at the end okay and while you are cooking the veggies, make sure you're already boiling the water so we can cook up the udon noodles ASAP. So the water's boiling, let's throw in the udon noodles and these take like no time to cook. They literally take like two minutes to cook because they're already pre-cooked, which makes this absolutely fantastic. And now in a small bowl, let's make the sauce. So we're gonna take one tablespoon of coconut or brown sugar, one tablespoon of mirin, 
one tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari or any other soy sauce equivalent. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce. Did I say it right? <laughs> I think I did. So we mix those sauce ingredients well, and then let's go back to our vegetables. Let's throw in those udon noodles that have been drained, and then let's also throw in that sauce. And for my protein option for this meal, I'm adding in mixed beans. You can add in edamame beans, chickpeas, or any other beans that you want, or tofu would go really well with this as well. Totally optional, whatever you want. Now mix this together. I have the heat on high again, just to make everything come together and make sure it's nice and hot. And then that's pretty much it. All right guys, so now we can plate nicely. And then of course we have to top with some green onions, but oh my God, you guys, my grocery store did not have green onions. What kind of a grocery store runs out of green onions. I don't understand. Uh, I almost had a meltdown. I really did. But um, I do have like green onions that I try to grow in my in a little in a little jar. So that saved the day. But that's why there's like a very small amount of green onion in this dish D dish. Why can't I talk? There should be more. Okay, so add in lots of green onions. And there you have it. There's my there's my yaki udon. It's super good. I hope you guys try this. So quick too. My second recipe, I am borrowing a little hack from one of my old videos, my vegan hacks video, where I made three ingredient burger patties and we're gonna make it into slightly more fancy burgers. Just, just slightly. So the first ingredient we need for the burger patties is oat flour. Now I only had oats, so I'm just going to grind up some oats to make into oat flour. So we're gonna need one cup of oat flour. So I just ground up like a little more than a cup of oats and that made the one cup, okay? And then we're gonna also mash up some beans or grind up some beans. What are these words? I'm not doing well with English today. So we're gonna grind, mash, blend, one cup of beans. I'm taking black beans today. You can use whatever beans, guys. Go wild, go crazy. So we're gonna add that into a small bowl. No, not a small bowl, a medium-sized mixing bowl. There you go. And then our third ingredient for our three ingredient burger patties is one cup of pasta sauce. That's it guys, it's that simple. Now, if you wanna get fancy on me, you can add in a little bit of garlic powder as I just did there. I added about, I don't know, half a tablespoon, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and then let's just mix that well. And this recipe is so easy to remember, you guys. It is just one, one, one. One can of beans, one cup of oat flour, and one cup of pasta sauce. I know, it's that easy. You're welcome. Once that mixture is well combined, I'm going to actually scoop out half a cup uh, each and it made about five patties, okay? Pretty big ones too. So yeah, there you go. Now you can bake these. I don't have patience, so I am going to pan fry. Uh, again, a little bit of oil goes a long way, my beautiful friends. We're gonna add in the burger patties onto a pan. Mm -hmm. We're gonna flatten it with a spatula. Now, if the mixture is sticky, I do like to wet my spatula with a little bit of water and then just flatten it that way. And I'm gonna cook it on one side on medium high heat for maybe about three to four minutes, just depending on how you know strong your stove is. So yeah, just cook it for three to four minutes, flip it over, cook it again for another, I don't know, three, four minutes. And then you're done. I know, I know. It's just, I know, it's so great. So you're done with the patties. And of course you can do whatever you want with those patties. You can eat them however way you want. I'm gonna make kimchi burgers. So I just took a little bit of kimchi. I prefer to use like more sour kimchi for this. So I'm just gonna stir fry it for a little bit on the pan. I'm gonna add a small pinch of sugar and then just stir fry it for, I don't know, a few minutes. And let's also toast up some burger buns, or one burger bun, because it's just for me, yeah. 
and then you can dress your burger however way you want of course you got to have the ketchup i'm also adding some mustard and i just had spinach for my greens i didn't have uh, lettuce whatever works some tomato of course and then we're gonna add in the patty see how great look how great it sticks together <laughs> i know anyways we're gonna top with the kimchi and then I just spread a little bit of vegan mayo on the top bun and then let's close it. And I am sorry, but that is a beautiful burger, if I may say so myself. There you go. Very simple kimchi burger. Once again, you don't have to add the kimchi part. That's optional, but um, it adds a really nice flavor and deliciousness. And there you have it. And of course, we have to have pasta when we're doing quick weeknight dinners we're making a soy garlic butter pasta this is so delicious let's chop some mushrooms i'm just using white mushrooms i feel like you can use whatever mushrooms you want i'm chopping up about two cups of white mushrooms and then you also want to be cooking up your pasta as well i'm just using whole wheat spaghetti because health hashtag health and then let's go to a pan once again and add a small amount of oil. Once again, I am adding just half a teaspoon of oil. You really don't need a lot. Okay, so just a little bit of oil. We're gonna heat that up and then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Once again, maybe this is about five, six cloves. Whatever it is, doesn't really matter. And then let's add in the mushrooms. And if things start to look a little dry, you can of course add in a small splash of water. I'm just adding in a little bit of pasta water. And once the mushrooms have nicely browned, we are going to add in two tablespoons of vegan butter. And at this point, the heat should be on low. And then I'm gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. And then we're just gonna add in three tablespoons of the pasta water and then we're gonna mix this well. And once the pasta is done cooking, of course, we can just throw it straight into the pan here. And we're also gonna throw in a third cup of edamame beans, which is going to be my protein for this meal. Now this next part is totally optional, but if you like a good kick, then I recommend adding in one teaspoon of gochugaru, which is Korean red chili pepper powder or chili pepper flakes. Uh, you can also add in just regular chili flakes if you want, but yeah, I just find that this adds a really nice kick and a little bit more flavor. And um, of course, I'm Korean, so I like my spice. So that's pretty much how you make this dish. It is so easy. And what I love about it is that I feel like most of us have most of these ingredients on hand. And even if we don't have the exact ingredients, you could probably play around with different ingredients and just come up with something. This is such a great way to make a pasta dish with some Asian flavors. You know, I like that fusion-y thing. And uh, also if you don't have pasta sauce available, make this okay make this it's so good it's nice and savory that butter flavor comes through but then you also get that soy sauce oh my god it's so good it's so good all right so it's thursday now are we keeping track <laughs> it's couscous time and mixed veggies very simple delicious we're starting with chopping up some veggies we're going to start with some onion Let's also chop some bell pepper. We're just roughly chopping everything, my friends. Nothing has to be perfect. You know the drill. We don't do perfect at Cheap Lazy Vegan. Let's also chop up some broccoli. And once again, we're back at the stove. Let's heat up a little bit of oil once again. You know the drill, medium high heat. And then let's throw in our veg. Now I'm just gonna throw it all in because ain't nobody got time. We're not layering this time. We're just gonna throw it all in and then we're just gonna cook it. And I like to cook it until, you know, things start to brown a little bit. Now you can roast your veggies in the oven, which is also very delicious. I think it actually might taste better that way, but that takes lots of time. So this works fine. And once the veggies have mostly cooked, I'm gonna throw in some chickpeas. That's going to be our protein. And then to season, I'm simply going to use some garlic salt and some black pepper. Now you can feel free to add other seasonings and other spices if you'd like, but I decide to keep it simple. And while the veggies are cooking, we can make our couscous. 
first thing we're gonna do is make a very quick veggie broth. So all I'm doing is adding in two third cup of hot water into a medium sized bowl. And then I'm gonna crumble in some veggie stock. So I'm adding in a quarter cube of veggie bouillon and then we're gonna mix this well and that's basically your veggie broth i know so simple so easy and then let's add in two third cup of couscous and mix this well and for our seasonings we're adding in half a teaspoon of cumin half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of paprika quarter teaspoon of turmeric and i'm just gonna give it a quick mix now to further enhance the flavors, I decided to also add in about a teaspoon of lemon juice as well. So we're just gonna mix this well, and then all we have to do is cover this up and let it sit for five, 10 minutes, and then the couscous will be done. As you can see here, it's already quickly soaked up the water, which is amazing, and it cooks so, so fast. It is amazing. It is such a great thing to have, especially for a very quick dinner. So then we can just plate it. We're just gonna take some couscous and then put it on a plate. Try to make it look fancy if you want to. And then we can add in our bean and vegetable mixture here. This one is a super simple dish. You can of course play around with it. Again, you can add in different sauces if you want. I decided to just simply add some sriracha on top. I've already added lots of spices in this one. So I figured that I wouldn't need to really add much of a sauce. So yeah, feel free to just play around with different types of vegetables, different types of protein. It's totally up to you this is your dish have fun with it at the end here i did decide to add a little bit of sunflower seeds just for some added healthy fats and also a nice difference in texture so it'll add a nice crunch and that's it there you have it super simple very quick couscous and mixed vegetable dish and last but definitely not least we're gonna make an easy peasy green curry noodle dish yay so let's get started we're gonna take one tablespoon of coconut oil or use whatever oil you want i'm just taking coconut oil and i'm going to heat up a wok and then i'm going to add in one tablespoon of minced garlic and then two tablespoons of green curry paste. Now, always double check your green curry paste to make sure if it is vegan or not. Just double check the ingredients to make sure there's no fish paste or anything like that because some green curry paste that you buy in the store might have fish ingredients. So all I'm doing here is just heating up the paste. So I have the heat on medium low, nothing too high. I'm just basically kind of melting down the paste a little bit. And then we can add in one can of coconut milk. And then we're gonna take a whisk and mix this really well. So once you've mixed that well, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of coconut sugar. You can also add in brown sugar. You can add more sugar if you want, but I just added in one tablespoon. So at this point we have the heat now on medium high heat i'm just gonna keep whisking and then we're just gonna add in our broccoli as you can tell i really like broccoli but you can also add in like cauliflower or whatever vegetables you want to add so i'm adding in some broccoli and i'm also going to add in one block of soft tofu that's going to be our protein for this dish at this stage, I decided I wanted to add some more color. So we're gonna add in two carrots that I've just roughly chopped up, and then I'm just gonna mix that in. And we're gonna bring this to a nice boil. And that's basically how easy it is to make green curry. All you have to do is just let this cook until your veggies are cooked and the carrots are soft, and that's it. Give it a little taste. See if you need to add some salt, maybe more sugar, uh, but that is how simple and easy it is, my friends. So you can eat this with rice or you can make some noodles with it. So I'm just gonna quickly make some uh, instant rice noodles here. And all you have to do is add in some hot water into these noodles and then it just kind of magically uh, cooks. It's like couscous, but noodles. I know, amazing. <laughs> Now, honestly, I feel like green curry does taste better with rice, but rice takes a while to cook and some of us don't have rice on hand all the time, which is always a struggle. So if you don't have rice and you just need a quick meal, make these instant rice noodles, which are so quick and so simple and so easy. So we're just gonna place everything into a nice serving bowl. As you can see here, it's nice and steamy. And oh my God, this is so comforting and so delicious. And you saw how easy that was, okay? It's so, so simple and so easy and anyone can make this. 
I feel like a lot of green curry recipes are really complicated. Every time I want to make green curry, I feel like I want to over complicate things, but I always forget how easy and simple it is to actually make a really quick and easy minimalistic green curry, which is why I wanted to do this video and just remind you guys that you don't need a million ingredients to make a really yummy green curry. All you need is a great green curry paste that you can buy in stores and some coconut milk. It's really that simple. All right, you guys, so that is it for my weeknight dinner recipes video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you try these out, and if you do, tag me on Instagram, take a beautiful photo, and tag me. I wanna see your creations. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to check out MiZen once again. You can get 20% off your first order by going to MiZen.com slash CheapLazyVegan. The link is, of course, down below. Thank you so much to Mizan for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!